I don't scan my negatives. I shoot them with a DSLR on a light box. Why? It gives me a lot more control over what the final image looks like. Just like developing negatives myself, I like being part of the entire process and the complete film experience. If you decide to have your negatives commercially developed and scanned, or just scan the negatives yourself, that's perfectly fine. You will wind up with excellent images. But if you choose to shoot your negatives like I do, here's how to do it. The first thing you need to do is make a simple negative template. I use black mat board and cut out a rectangle for the negative. I first cut the board to the size of my light box, which is 10 by 12 inches, using a T-square. You'll need a small, sharp utility knife and some form of straight edge to use as a guide. I then cut the hole for the negative. I make the rectangle cutout a little larger on the sides than the negative. To square up the negative cutout, just draw diagonals from each end of the template. I make the rectangle cutout a little larger on the sides than the negative. When you're done cutting, flip it over and there's your finished template. Here's the template on my light box. It blocks all extraneous light, which is good. Notice how the rectangle is a little bit longer than the negative. This gives me a little more wiggle room to zoom in on and focus on the negative. You can set up a tripod to mount your camera to shoot your negatives. This works well and many photographers do this. If you do, just make sure that your lens is parallel to the surface of the light box. Otherwise, you might have focusing issues. I've used a tripod in the past, but I've found out that using a couple of kids' building blocks work really well. You need to have a lens with macro capability though. The height of the blocks that I use are an inch and a half. This works out great with the macro setting on the lens. I'm using a pretty heavy duty DSLR to shoot the negatives. I'm using a Canon 5D Mark III with a 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens with macro capability. Any decent DSLR will work as long as you have a lens with macro capability. I just hold the camera steady on the blocks, focus, and shoot. The camera here is in live mode, where the image is shown on the LCD. I just have the camera in live mode for this video. I always shoot the negatives looking through the viewfinder. Here's a few things to keep in mind. Always keep your ISO value low as possible. The lowest ISO setting on the 5D Mark III is 100, so I keep it there. Vary your shutter speed and aperture. Here the aperture is set to 1 60th of a second at f4.5. I'll take a few more shots at different settings and pick what looks best in Lightroom or Photoshop when I process the negatives. Depth of field isn't really an issue here. Also, always shoot in RAW mode on your DSLR. This gives you much more flexibility and control when turning your negatives into positives in Lightroom and Photoshop. So as you can see, there's nothing really complicated about this setup. It's my belief that you have greater control and a more unique look to your images when your negatives are shot this way.